Hey guys, welcome back to Life is Strange, episode 1, part 3. Run, 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 zatches. Okay, so we need to go into Max's room, get Warren's flash drive, give it back to him, and then God knows what we're doing after that. So, home sweet home. My favorite near the computer? Um, oh, sticky. What? Looks like Dana left me a little Hey girl, though. I've ordered your drive so I can watch some flicks while I study. If you need it back, just track me down in my room. Duh. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Let's go find duh. Ooh, mum. Mum sent me a message. Wow, it's her birthday. Oh no, that was on the 21st. Max, your principal sent me an email saying that you told some tales about a Blackwell honor student. Is this true? The principal said this was a serious false charge and that he's worried you're telling stories. Call me. Blech. Okay. No! I need it! I need the thing! She's got my flash drive. Can she just, like, put it Welcome under the door? The real drama queens of Blackwell. Like, just un under the door? No? Okay. Fine. Answer, you wuss. Dude, hey, what's up? Juliet, is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. You are ridiculous! What did she do? What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? That got defensive real quick. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. Yeah, dickhead. What's my last name? Uh, yeah. Something Utson. Let's go with Watson. Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. Ha! I didn't even think you knew my name at all. I win. Of course I do. Just because I don't Your deluded happy mean smile I means I win. So, how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria. But Victoria's a dickhead. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. That's rude. Matt, I swear I didn't do anything. Right. Even Victoria did. Yeah, I reckon she did as well. Let's go. Victoria's room. Stat. It's got the door open though, that's weird. Where would she have it? Where's her phone? Phone? Telefona. Gazette. TV, shitty magazine, shitty pictures of her in swimsuits, like a dick. Computer? That's real that's nice, rude. Victoria. And who the hell thinks I'm a hipster? I don't know, maybe you are a hipster. Boom. This is the email I need Bitch to show down yet. webmail Victoria. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. No, no, no. I want to see what this says. Oh. So sad to inform you that I totally punked Jess, Jesse, Juliet, and Dana, Jay, there, Dana, just now. All I had to do was mention to Juliet that I saw a nasty sex from Dana on Zach's phone. Dumbass, believe me. And so I expect there to be a dorm rampage soon. Juliet deserves this for slutting Zach away from me. As for Dana, who gives a shit? Get out your popcorn. So that's obviously. So Victoria is actually the one who's with Zach. But why didn't... Oh god, not Dana, the other one. Oh, hang on. Maybe we want to print that out. Um, why didn't... What's her face? Um, Thingy Watson, Juliet. Why didn't she say, Well, uh, why were you looking at uh, Zach's phone? By chance? Are they like besties? I don't know. Right. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Yeah, I need my flash drive. I need my pawn bag. Let's go. 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 I got a thing. I got a thing. Dude, I got a thing. Read this. Some dick email. I like a skirt. Of course. Nah. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You Aww. are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No. But I get stupid jealous. Aww. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. Oh, you dear. Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Are we buds then? I'm assuming we're buds if she just came in my room and took a flash drive out of my computer and was just like, this is mine, thanks. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. 
That room is kind of cool. Go, Bigfoot. That's really cool, actually. I like the art style of this game. It's really cool. Ah, flash drive. Mine. Gibby. Gibby. Eh. Gibby. Thank you. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. She's so fucking weird in her own head. Like, what the hell is she on about? Uh, oh, the man himself. I don't mind waiting out here forever. I love this parking lot. I can count all the cars. The more I text, the longer I take on my way by. Oh, hang on. Do I have a new message? Oh, the new message was bye. Okay, so he is in the car park. Parking lot, whatever you want to call it. Let's go. I do do do. Fuck this shit. What? Ow. Oh. That hurt. Wow. I better rewind. That kind of confused me. I was like walking along, and then my like FOV freaked out. Um, dude, watch out, dude. Dude! Oh, balls. I missed it. Let's warn her, because we like her. No, don't fast enough. Right. Ow, I gave myself a brain freeze. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. She sounds a bit depressed, actually. Hey, saved you. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Thank you, Max. Thanks for saving my life. Oh, God. Hi. What? Hi, whore. Hope you enjoyed the pics. It's your last one. What? What is going on right now? I am rather confused, Avood. Hi, whore. Hope you enjoyed the pics. Oh, yes. The picture we took after we dumped the paint on her face. I remember now. Let's go to the car park. Oh. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do he was the dickhead that was saying, saying I was doing something naughty in the bathroom oh, in the last episode. Or well, the last part. Fuck off. Let's go and punch him in the head. We hey, don't like him anymore. Why don't you leave her alone? Yeah. Excuse us. This is official Back off. business. Is that Excuse me. You shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, yeah. Nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. If your job is to be a you're bully, you're part of you the problem, are. Missy. I will remember this conversation. Good for you. I'm impressed. Well oh, done. Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Aww. So her name's Kate, so we want to look out for her because we want to be her friend. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David oh, dear, sorry, I do you after me. I apologize. Maybe I no. We're not going to rewind and mind our business. I like Kate. She seems cool. <laughs> the music on this is so, like, chill. I need to find a car park. No? We found the car park by ourselves? We found the car park by ourselves. Hi. I stepped in that time. I can't stand to see people being bullied. See, good decision. She liked it. She's glad. Come on over here, please. Hey, bud. Let's look at the car. That looks and like a bitching car. Did he actually buy a used car? Maybe. Let's look at it again. And there's Warren. Oh, same thing. Did he actually buy a used? Okay, sorry. Oh, flash drive. How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. Oh, he wanted a cuddle. No oh. Check out my new wheels. Cool. I ship Very it. Old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. Seems gonna be but wax or marrow. You okay? No ship it's name. Do they have a ship name? I hope they have a ship day. name. I want to search it on Google, Man, but I, I don't go ship because I'll probably see large Facebook. amounts of Major horrible spoilers. No worries. Don't worry. No Major worries, bitch move or something. I like took that. a sweet shot of Victoria. I can't wait to share. Oh, score one for Team Max. Yeah, be so score one. To see your ass clown face all over the interwebs. Yeah, she does he's hip and happening. The shitty things she's done to people here. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Porn. Yeah, 
Yeah, thanks. I saw so I much porn. Cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone. Porn, which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur. Oh, he's a pirate. That does sound better than thief. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. That sounds fucking great. Yeah, we've already seen it. It's my favorite film. Seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies than <laughs> that. Can Definitely a sensitive high school Definitely boy mean. sensitive vampires too? Twilight. So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. That's adorable. Um, how so? Not at all. How so? I how didn't so? mean it. Sensitive usually means won't be having sex with you. Oh. oh god. You need a sensitive woman to kick your ass. If I was lucky. We should do Speaking it. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. See? But you seem distracted. No, I'm not. I want to go out with you. I need to go. I, I need to talk no, to, I need to talk about ourselves. Just to get it out of my system. Talk to him. He'll be Dr. a Dr. Warren BFF. Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Oh, that's good then. Tell me no drugs. For reals, Warren. This is between you and me. Not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life changing. <laughs> I've never had a dream so real it was like a movie. Max Caulfield, right? What? What? You're what? One of the Jefferson's what? photo groupies? Oh I'm dear! The it's the gunman. What the fuck ever! I know you like <laughs> to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal now. Fuck off. Where's the word fuck off? Answer me, bitch. Hey, what are you secret. talking about? I know you're new here, but don't even play stupid with me. I'm not new. I've lived here for years. Then you Dickhead. should know the Prescotts own this shithole. Then you don't have to worry about me. Worry about yourself. Yeah, dickhead. Do not analyze wow, me. Wow, wow. I hate people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Oh, I'm scared now, bitch. I'm scared now. Let's fucking do him. I could call the police. Not like that. But let's punch him. Do it. The Prescotts own the pigs here. Get away from her, dude. Go what? Hey, Rip. leave him alone. Nobody tells me what to do. Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore leave in the him. bathroom. <gasps> yes, kill him. Scratch his face. Run him over, somebody, please. Max? Chloe? No hey. way. You again. Oh, it's the one from the bathroom. <gasps> Get in, Max! Get your punk asses out there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Did Warren actually say go? I got this from him on the floor while he was having the shit kicked out of him. Oh, and the security guard turns up ten minutes too late. That was helpful. Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five yeah, years, thanks. Still Max Caulfield. Thanks, bud. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. The car is a shit. I am seriously glad to see you. So much gross stuff in her car. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. <laughs> it makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, oh, it's thanks. Kind of day. So, what did that freak want with you? Uh, hopefully nothing. I have no idea. Nope, lying. I have no idea. So I, was nothing, I know he's a press card. An asshole. Your friend really stood up for you. Yeah, he's Warren? my lover. Yeah, I owe him big time. Not yet, but he will you're be. He'll be BFF. And you're already Oof. causing trouble. He'll be my boyfriend. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? Mm, yes. I guess. It was cool, but I felt kind of lonely. Out of my league. Oh. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Oh, right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. Yeah. At least you're still a smartass. That's why I'm here. Yeah, you do. With your Please blue go. hair and your hipster car. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Oh, yes. Bow chicka wow. Only for Mark Jefferson. He was a pretty famous photographer in the 90s. I swear if I yawned once work. more. Those that can't do, teach. I'm glad you found a good reason to come back. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. Um. Give me a break, Souls. Give me a break. I was going through changes. Like you. We're going I guess those changes change. include dumping you from your life. No. That's not true, Chloe. Bullshit. 
You thought you hook up with all these art pricks in Seattle. Didn't no. Happen. You're merciless. Yes. Well, for almost a month without letting me know. No said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. I'm totally confused because they're at the same school together. So why didn't she know she was there? I confused. I confused. I confused. I feel like she's gonna fall asleep and crash the car, and we're all gonna die. But yeah. So there's that. Oh. Broken. Oh, man, are you serial? Wow, cereal. I haven't heard that one in a while. Cereal. You being serial, boy. Not everything changes. I mean, serious. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My Here it has. My douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it at my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Nerd alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. <laughs> Get it? Welcome home, Max. Okay, so this feels like a natural sort of pause. So I'm going to pause it here and I will see you all in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye guys.